Open the 8th grade homework calendar and click on the Science Mastery Tracker event. Open the first link within the event, which will take you to the form that you're going to copy. So we're going to click on the File menu, make a copy. I'm going to delete everything but Mastery Tracker from the name. Rename the document SC, the number of your class period, dot your last name, dot your first name, dot Mastery Tracker. Click OK. This will open your copy. You can click on the X to close the tab for the original because you'll no longer need it. Now we need to choose the response destination. This will create a spreadsheet. A spreadsheet with the exact same name as your form but with the word responses at the end. Click on create. It will take a moment while it sets up the spreadsheet and then you can click on the view responses button to see the spreadsheet. Right now your spreadsheet is completely empty. We are going to add some formulas so that it automatically calculates your averages for the various tests and quizzes that you will be entering on the spreadsheet. I'm going to go back to the homework calendar and this time open the second link. Okay, you can see on here that there are several entries that are um, an error. It says no valid data. That's because we don't have any numbers for it to actually use in the formula yet. So notice that those are on there but we want to copy them to your spreadsheet so that when you enter data it will automatically uh, average the numbers. So we're going to click on the number three in the first column that will select all of the cells in that row. Now without dragging or anything like that I'm going to scroll down to row 16. Hold the shift key and click on the number 16. That selects all the rows between 3 and 16. Then I'm going to press command C to copy and I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet. I'm going to click on cell um, 3A. So I'm in the first column in row 3 and I'm going to press command V to paste. Now you'll notice that that leaves us one cell or one row at the top of empty cells. That's where your data will start coming in. Your data will then push your formulas down a row every time you enter something into your mastery tracker. Notice again that still things are blank. That's okay. I'm going to close this one because again we don't need that any longer. Um, and I'm going to go back to my mastery tracker and click on view live form. This takes me to the form where I will et enter my information every time. So my year-long physical science goal, 90%. My cumulative percentage, because this is the very first entry, is nothing. I don't have a cumulative percentage, so I'm writing in none. In the future, you will need to go and look at your spreadsheet to know if you are meeting your goal. You can look here after unit one, after unit one test and quiz, you'll have a percentage here that tells you if you're meeting your goal or not. The very first um, quiz will be right here. You, you don't have a quiz average over here because it's just one. So the very first test you take when you enter that data, you'll look at this quiz average. Okay, but for your pretest in unit one, you don't really have that information yet. So, unknown. I'm assessing unit one. I'm going to click continue. That will take me to the choice of which um, assessment I am entering, and I am entering my pretest information. Clicking continue. I I got 65% on the pretest. It wasn't great but it wasn't awful either. And I would like to know more about the scientific method. Okay, then I click Submit. 
and I can close that tab. When I come to my spreadsheet now, you'll notice that again, still there's no information here because I haven't entered those numbers yet. But if I look along the top row, I can see that I have entered the information for my pretest. Ms. Whetstone can come and look and say, oh, this student would like to know more about the scientific method. This is helpful for Ms. Whetstone because she can check to see how students are doing and know what they need to know more about before they take quizzes and tests. There's one more step. I'm going to go back to the homework calendar one last time and open the third link. I'm going to submit this form to submit my spreadsheet. So I'm going to enter my first and last name, my science class period, my year-long physical science goal is 90%, and then I am going to put the link to my Mastery Tracker spreadsheet in this space below. So I'm going back to my spreadsheet. That's this one. I'm going to copy the link, Command C, Command V to paste, and click Submit. That will make it very easy for Ms. Whetstone to look through your spreadsheets and see how you are doing. Thank you for listening.